Hi, welcome to Tech Dexter. I am Dojin Shemweno, and today we are making a motorized curtain using a stepper motor and a remote control that is the TV remote control. The model is made of uh, materials that you can easily find around the house, so it's easy for anyone to try who would like to try it. All the necessary links I will leave in the description box, so don't fail to check if you are working on the project. The code, the circuit diagram is all in the description box. If you have any questions, please tell me in the comment section. So let's get started. I started out with some cutouts from yogurt cans and then in the middle I placed some form of bottle tops and glued the parts together. This served as the path for the cuttings. On the path to be connected to the stepper motor, I glued a gear whose only purpose was to connect the stepper motor as it had a hole that was accurately the size of the stepper motor shaft. And on the other side of the path, I made a hole in the middle so as to allow the path to rotate freely with the cutting cable while the motor rotated. I made this curtain with some rings, commonly used in beading, an old curtain and also an old charger cable. In this video I will not be making the connections of the circuit, however I will leave a link to the breadboard circuit diagram in the description box. It's easy to follow but if you get stuck don't hesitate to ask for help in the comment section. The thin thread was used to pull the curtains to close properly. By the end of the project, you will notice that I removed the thread on the side of the motor as it did not serve any purpose since I used the knot of the cable to provide the pull on that side. For the most part of this project, I used this remote, however, at the end I shift to using the TV remote. On the far end from the motor, I looped the thread in the opposite direction from the motor movement so that it will tighten when closing and pull the curtains and close it properly. I also added a separate path for the thread and the cable because the thread kept getting locked up and preventing the opening and closing of the curtains.
I used the nail to ensure that the curtain didn't go past the point it was supposed to. At this point, it was time to change the code and replace the remote I was using with a TV remote. To add the necessary buttons, I just had to keep pressing the buttons I wanted to use while viewing what was displayed in the serial monitor. I then replaced the existing values in the code with those values displayed on the serial monitor.